Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Brad, I'm the owner of Wooten CPA, and today I'm gonna to tell you exactly when and why you should prepare your own tax return. That's right, I'm a CPA, I get paid every day for a living to prepare tax returns for other people, but I'm gonna tell you exactly when and why you should do it yourself. So let's jump right in. There's only two reasons why I really think someone should prepare their own tax return. Number one is it's very, very simple, okay? I have a minimum charge to prepare tax returns because there's just an amount of time to get a client up and going with uh, a tax return that there's a minimum charge. It's true. You might look at it and go, hey, $300 to prepare a tax return, that's way too much for just my one W-2. You're right, it probably is because you can go in and just type in one W-2 and you're probably not gonna get that tax return wrong. Now, I still have other people who have a very, very simple tax return, but for them, again, this gets down to the value of what you're getting, actually. So some people would look at an iPhone and say, $1,000 is way too much. I'm going to go buy this flip phone at Walmart for $100 because they don't value it the same. But I have a few clients who actually have very simple tax returns, and they just don't want to do it themselves. And so they value it more than someone else who's looking at it going, I don't really want to pay anyone. It's very simple. Okay, you might be in the category where you should actually prepare it yourself. So it's very, very simple. Even if it's that simple, I'm still going to tell you, don't just plug the numbers in to the software online, click file, and never actually look at the tax form itself. You need to look at the tax form. Double check it. Make sure you typed in the numbers right. Make sure you got the withholding right. Make sure it's calculating the things right. There are still some other credits. If you have children, you might get another credit. So it's not just your W-2. You might get the child tax credit. Part of that might be non-refundable, part of it might be refundable. You might also, you know, with the um, economic impact payment, the stimulus checks, you might have not gotten the right amount, and so you need to make sure that the right amount is now calculating on your tax return so you get full benefit for that now. So there's a few other things that go into that. And so even if you have a very simple W-2, I'm gonna say, still, only do it if you actually want to, if you enjoy doing it. Don't do it to save money. All right, because you might end up uh, you might end up costing yourself money in the long run if you miss something or do something incorrectly, and either miss out on a credit that you could have qualified for, or underpay your taxes, get caught by the IRS, and have to pay penalties and interest later. That's probably going to be more than the three hundred dollars for just a base entry level return, and then you can sleep easier at night knowing that you had someone else who does it for a living and is doing it all the time uh, do it for you. The second situation where you should do it is maybe your return is a little bit more complex. Maybe even you're self-employed, you get 1099 income, uh, and you have to file a Schedule C business. I'm still going to say you could do it yourself if, uh, if you really enjoy doing it and you enjoy looking it up and doing the research to figure out what is deductible, what isn't, uh, and you enjoy reading some of the instructions to the forms. I was doing my own tax return well before I was actually doing it for a living. I majored in accounting, but I didn't know I wanted to be in tax prep for a career. I, in fact, I started in audit and not in tax preparation, but I was doing my own return at that time because I looked forward. Yeah, I get it. I'm a little strange, but I looked forward to tax season so that I could sit down, get my forms, put them into the tax return, go back to the tax return. I enjoy working with numbers. I actually enjoy working with forms too. Everything has its place. It adds up. Everything makes sense. And so I really enjoy it. If that's you, I'd say go ahead and do it yourself. But make sure when you do the research, you're going to IRS publications. You're going to the tax code itself, which you can get for free online at the Cornell Law website. I'll put a link to that in the description. But you can do it yourself if you're going to do that and you're going to actually look for reputable sources. Don't just watch one YouTube video, okay? I know I have a lot of them that walk through tax things and, and give you a lot of information, but don't just watch one. Confirm the information from multiple reputable sources, but also not just reputable sources such as blogs or YouTube videos from CPAs or people who say they're professional preparers, but go to the IRS resources, okay? Go to the tax code. If you're willing to do that, then even if you have a more complex return, I still think you'll probably be all right. Now, you're still going to get benefit uh, even if you enjoy doing that from coming to a CPA or a professional tax preparer. The reason is because you're looking at it from your perspective, you're doing your return, and you're doing a lot of research, and that's great, and you might very likely get that return correct. However, I'm doing a few hundred returns a year for multiple years, and so I've seen a lot of different 
situations. I've researched it a lot of times. I also subscribe to professional research material where not only can I get the IRS publications, I look at the treasury regulations, I look at case law, and then I also have professional analysis that's looking at all those things that help me come to a conclusion about whether or not something is deductible or how something is treated. And then again, the fact that you know child tax credit, earned income tax credit, the economic impact or stimulus checks, I just, I'm doing them over and over and over again. And so I become very familiar with it. So again, the biggest thing isn't that you can't necessarily learn this stuff. I, I pretty much subscribe to people can mostly learn whatever they put their mind to, but the question becomes, do you want to take that time away from what you could be doing that you enjoy uh, instead by just trying to save a few hundred dollars from paying someone else to do it for you? So again, if you're going to enjoy doing it and you like putting in that work, treat it as a hobby, do it yourself. If you don't, it's really not worth the hassle, the struggle, the stress, pulling time away from something you'd rather do or your family so that you can just grind through this and save a few hundred dollars that ultimately you might end up having to pay back or you might have lost in a credit because you didn't do something right because you were just trying to get it over with. So I hope that video is helpful. That's when and why you should prepare your own tax return. Again, my name is Brad. I'm the owner of Wooten CPA. My goal is to bring peace to your tax and finance responsibilities. One of the ways I do that is through these videos on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like uh, button and the bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.